Hi, Agent Blazers. I'm Jennifer Lee, Lead Admin Evangelist at Salesforce, and I'm so excited to show you Agent Force Testing Center, your ultimate tool for testing non-deterministic responses from an agent before deployment. Now, Testing Center is a game changer for managing the agent lifecycle. And here's the best part, no code is needed. So let's dive in and see how this works. So step one, you're gonna make sure that Agent Force is activated in your sandbox. Now, why a sandbox? Just like your flows and other configuration, you want to test it in a safe environment to avoid impacting production data. So step two, we're gonna head over to Testing Center and we're going to create a new test. Now, first you're going to need to grab the testing template CSV file from this template link that you see here. Now, in the CSV file, here's where you define your test cases with four columns. So we have the utterance, expected topic, expected actions, and expected response. Now, the utterance is what the user says. So for example, recommend a cupcake order for Haley Atwood. The expected topic is the topic API name that you expect the agent to select. The expected actions are the agent actions, the API names that you expect the agent to use. And here we expected the agent to use the retrieve contact ID agent action and the mochi cupcakes recommendation action. And lastly, you have the expected response. Now, pro tip, you wanna make sure for your expected actions that you're using the straight single quote when separating the actions. Those curvy quotes, well, they're gonna cause your test to fail. All right, so step three, we are going to name our tests. And then we're going to select the agent that we're going to run our tests against. I'm going to select the Mochi Cupcake service agent, but you can also test your employee agent as well. And as a good admin, you should provide a description. So we're going to test the Mochi Cupcakes service agent. And we're going to select our testing CSV file. And we click save and run. And now we see that our test scenarios are running and they're in progress. So let's take a look at this information. We see it's in progress and we see it's generating and calculating all our various scenarios and it loaded it all up. So we're just gonna do a quick refresh and we see that some of it is already passing. I do another refresh and it took 30 seconds to run all our various tests and they pass 100% for the topic, 100% for the action and 75% for the response. So let's take a look at these real quick. We get the utterance, the expected topic versus the actual topic. And then we see the result of the uh, topic test results. Now we see the expected actions and the actual actions and then the test results for the action tests. And we have our expected response from the CSV file and the actual outcome. And then we have our outcome test response. So as you see, Testing Center handles the heavy lifting. Once the test runs, you'll see its progress, you'll see its detailed results, and if all the tests pass, amazing. You're one step closer to deployment. Now need to tweak something? No problem, you can go and rerun the test anytime. So some key notes to remember. Agent Force uses a specific user context for testing. And this ensures that you're replicating the same experience as your users interacting with the service agent or the employee agent. So you can see with Testing Center, you'll save time and feel confident in deploying smart, reliable agents. 